Good morning. Here's what you need to know. President Rodrigo Duterte of the Philippines is playing the cordial host as President Trump nears the end of his Marathon Asia tour. Their provocative styles may mesh over two days of meetings in Manila with regional leaders. But the Philippine leader's longer-term game is to court Beijing for billions of dollars of investment. On Sunday, Mr. Trump abandoned his trip's scripted messaging, unloading on Twitter against the haters and fools pressing the investigation into his campaign's Russian ties. And he lashed back after North Korea described him as a lunatic old man, calling its leader short and fat. Blank, an American proposal for resolving the decades-old Israeli-Palestinian conflict is being drawn up by President Trump and a group of advisors led by Jared Kushner. His son-in-law, the prospects for peace are caught up in a web of other regional issues, notably Saudi Arabia's growing confrontation with Iran and the Lebanese militia it backs Hezbollah, which has raised fears of a military conflict. Blank hour. Reporters took the temperature at the largest and most secretive U.S. intelligence branch, the National Security Agency, gauging the effect of the catastrophic security breach by a group calling itself Shadow Brokers that first emerged in 2016. Current and former officials said the group's repeated release of U.S. secrets including hacking tools that used to spy on other countries, had ruined morale and called into question the agency's ability to protect potent cyber weapons. They have the whole law enforcement system and intelligence system after them, one said of the mysterious hackers, and they haven't been caught. Blank. China. Canada. The U.N. When President Trump pulled the U.S. out of the Paris Agreement, America officially ceded its leadership on climate change. Here's a look at some of the leaders and organizations above trying to fill the void. And at climate talks now underway in Bonn, Germany, a shadow U.S. delegation, including Al Gore, Jerry Brown and Michael Bloomberg, is trying to convince other nations that the U.S. has not gone dark on climate change. Blank, Singles Day, China's annual version of Black Friday, entered staggering new territory. Sales blazed past $1 billion within two minutes of the midnight start on Saturday. By the end of the day, Alibaba reported that its sales had hit a record $25. 3 billion, more than 40% higher than 2016. JD. Com. Alibaba's e-commerce rival said that sales for Singles Day and its run-up reached more than $19 billion, up 50%. Blank, and Queen Elizabeth II watched from a balcony on Sunday as Prince Charles placed a wreath at the Cenotaph, Britain's memorial to its war dead, to mark Armistice Day, often praised for being rigorous about her royal obligations. The Queen, 91, delegated the duty to Charles. 68. In a move seen by observers as a major step in the shift to the monarchy's next generation. Blank. Driverless vehicles may soon cease to be science fiction. The Times Magazine's tech and design issue ponders. What happens then? Japan, Canada, Mexico and eight other countries that together account for about a sixth of global trade said. Over the weekend they were resurrecting the Trans-Pacific Partnership. Without the U.S., the New Deal could be announced as soon as early next year. LinkedIn will no longer accept job ads from individuals in China, after it ran afoul of new government regulations requiring it to verify identities. Here's a snapshot of global markets. Thousands of far-right nationalists marched through Poland's capital, Warsaw. Over the weekend, since 2009, the annual Independence Day March has become a magnet for white supremacists and far-right groups. The New York Times, a senior U.N. official vowed to raise the persecution of Myanmar's Rohingya minority.
especially sexual violence and torture. With the International Criminal Court, Reuters, New Zealand's Prime Minister, Jacinda Ardern, called Australia's handling of the refugee crisis on Manus Island not acceptable, and said she would again bring it up with Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull. At the ASEAN summit meeting in Manila, ABC, Spain's Prime Minister, Mariano Rajoy, visited Catalonia a day after a massive pro-independence march. He urged a huge turnout in next month's elections to return the region to normality. Quote, the New York Times. Police in Japan said that six of the nine victims whose mutilated bodies were found in a man's apartment had signaled that they were interested in suicide. The Asahi Shimbun, in a rare collaboration, China and Taiwan are working together to predict earthquakes from space. South China Morning Post Tips Both new and old For a more fulfilling life Social media Carefully used Can help Advance your career There's no magic formula for getting into a selective college But here are some tips From a U.S. based writer who covers admissions Recipe of the day Making your own maple breakfast sausage Is easier than you think Sizzling meat Crispy chicken Lots of beer. Our reviewer went deep into Melbourne to find Jumak, a hidden gem that offers the wicked brilliance of Korean food with touches of both Los Angeles and Australia. The growing list of Hollywood players accused of sexual misconduct, which now includes the comedian Louis C. K., raises a question. Should we do away with the idea of separating the art from the artist? And our fashion critic discusses Melania too. Zero. The first lady unveiled a softer, more subtle look during her grand tour of Asia, yet most missed it. And no one complained that she wore not one Asian designer, an engineering marvel of its time. New York City's Holland Tunnel opened on this day 90 years ago. The designer, Clifford Holland, oversaw many innovative developments for the pair of one. Six-mile tubes, including meeting the extraordinary challenge of guaranteeing sufficient ventilation. Highly stressed, he died, of a heart attack at 41. That was several years before the tunnel opened. So he missed the debate over whether to ban horse-drawn vehicles. Above, the tunnel under construction in 1922. Perhaps we're more used to taking note of the competition for the world's tallest building. Currently the Burj Khalifa in Dubai, with a Saudi contender, the Jeddah Tower, hoping to complete construction in 2019. But there's a global race on for tunnels, too. Europe currently claims the longest traffic tunnels, a 35-mile Swiss achievement, the 31-mile tunnel under the English Channel, and Norway's singular Laerdal Tunnel, which has even hosted weddings. Then there's Tokyo's Aqua Line. 8. 7 miles of underwater channel with a few miles of bridge riding atop. China, ever competitive as it seeks to meet the needs of upward of a billion people, aims to build the world's longest water tunnel, a 600-mile conduit from Tibet to a desert in Xinjiang. Andrea Canapel contributed, reporting. Blank, your morning briefing is published weekday mornings and updated online. Browse past briefings. Here, we have briefings timed for the Australian, Asian, European and American mornings. And our Australia, Bureau Chief offers a weekly letter adding analysis and conversations with readers. You can sign up for these and other times newsletters here. What would you like to see here? Contact us at Asia Briefing at nytimes.com. Yeah.